command of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation fills the ranks of the Southern Military District of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation by re the command of the Russian Armed Forces continues to build up the combat capabilities of the Russian occupation forces in the temporarily occupied territory in Donetsk and Luhansk regions, in particular, by strengthening cooperating units stationed on Russian territory near the border with Ukraine. Since the beginning of April, the ranks of combat units of the Southern Military District of the Russian Armed Forces have been filled due to the arrival of personnel from the Western, Central and Eastern Military Districts of the Russian Armed Forces for an indefinite period. In this way, the enemy command increases the permanent reserve for the possibility of rapid filling the ranks of the 1st and the 2nd Army Corps with Russian military personnel. As reported, over the past 24 hours, on April 5, the armed formations of the Russian Federation violated the ceasefire in the Joint Forces Operation Area seven times. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has informed NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg about the escalating security situation in eastern Ukraine and called for NATO's stronger military presence in the Black Sea region. In recent weeks, we have seen a very dangerous number of ceasefire violations by the Russian occupation forces and the number of Ukrainian defenders killed. The security situation around Ukraine and called on NATO member states to pay more attention to security issues in the Black Sea and strengthen their military presence in the Black Sea region. Such a permanent presence should be a powerful deterrent to Russia, which continues its large-scale militarization of the region. The possibility of obtaining a membership action plan remained the most urgent issue in Ukraine's relations with NATO. We are committed to reforming our army and defense sector, but reforms alone cannot stop Russia. NATO is the only way to end the war in Donbass. The map will be a real signal for Russia. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg expressed concern over Russia's military actions in and around Ukraine and reaffirmed the alliance's strong support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Russia had deployed 28 battalion tactical groups along the state border of Ukraine, as well as in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine and Crimea, which poses a potential threat to Ukraine's national security. <laughs>